Myth versus Fact, Tortured Artist Edition. Myth. Artists are more likely to suffer from mental illness. Fact. Okay, this myth may come from the fact that artists are more likely to disclose mental illness. And because artists often reveal personal details about themselves in their work, if they have experienced mental illness, they're more likely to show that through their work. Myth. Being mentally ill makes you more creative than others. Fact. Okay, have you ever heard someone say, oh, well, that artist's work is so amazing. It's too bad they have an unfair advantage of being mentally ill. <laughs> no, like that's ridiculous. Like why would you discredit uh, an artist's work as a product of their life experiences, of their hard work, of their unique perspective, etc.? Myth. Artists who don't suffer from mental illness will always be mediocre. Fact. Okay, let's talk about creativity for a second. So creativity is heightened for artists when they're in a flow state. When you get into a flow state, you stop conscious evaluation of your work and you just create. You just do. And mental illness, unfortunately, can get in the way of achieving a flow state. Myth. If you're mentally ill, you must embrace suffering for your art. Fact. Okay, if you are coming out of a depressive episode or another mental illness episode, that's when creativity is more likely to reappear, not during. You know, during, you may not be able to just shower or eat, let alone, you know, pick up a paintbrush or your instrument and create. I leave you with a quote from the writer Sam Dylan Finch. Brilliant art is born out of all life experiences. As artists, we have a moral obligation to express our truth, whatever that truth may be. I want you to ask yourself this, is mental illness really my truth? So what's your truth? You know, let's talk about the tortured artist myth and what that means for you in your life and any myths you want to debunk. Leave a comment below. Let's chat.